Japan seems to be obsessed with robots and AI. Why is that? And how will this tech impact our future? I took a plane to find out more. Snakes are genuine creatures. To some people they're fascinating, for a lot of people they're simply terrifying and to robot designers they're often inspirations for their creations. I want to find out why that is and why snake bots can even save lives. Robots that move like snakes are not just a nightmare we know from science fiction movies. From surgical applications to more everyday situations, snakes have often been the inspiration for industrial designs. Their flexible bodies make them perfect blueprints for areas that demand a high level of agility. This is Professor Fumitoshi Matsuno. His main field of research, robotic rescue support systems. Professor Matsuno is the head of the Matsuno Lab at the University of Kyoto and he's also the vice president of the prolific Robot Society of Japan. で、多分他のロボットとの違いなんですけども、えっと、うちのロボットのま、a snake that climbs ladders? Does this idea give you the creeps? Or does the end justify the means when it comes to designing robots? Let us know in the comments. But before we take a closer look at that thing, how in God's name does someone end up in such a specific field of science like disaster robots? Space exploration robots? What does the Mars rover? and this robot have in common? Find out in the next episode of Robots Like Me. それで反射味の地震があって、え、ま、一緒にやっていた学生が亡くなったんですね。それで、えっと、ま、スペースロボットからディザスターロボット、レスポンスロボットにこう、え、対象を変えたんですけど。So Professor Matsuni had a very personal reason to get involved in disaster control. The Great Hanshin Avachi earthquake happened in 1995. More than 6,000 people died, most of them in the city of Kobe. It was one of Japan's worst earthquakes in the 20th century. Japan is one of the world's most earthquake-prone countries. Japan only accounts for 0.28% of the world's land area, but 18.5% of all heavy earthquakes. Plus, it is the home of 7% of all active volcanoes. And with Japan relying heavily on nuclear power, there is even more at stake. In the ongoing crisis management after the nuclear disaster in Fukushima, robots play a vital part. It is no wonder Japan is a leading country when it comes to rescue technology. But back to the snakebot. It's a really impressive machine. But how exactly can it help on catastrophe sites? で、to make the snake bot fit for the demanding task, Professor Matsuno and his team keep on refining its moving patterns, creating a super snake. How many joints does the, the snake have? 36. 36. Yeah. 36 joints. While real snakes can climb trees as well, they might have a hard time climbing up a ladder. 
but the ladder might be the only way to reach a certain area in an emergency. For example, to check for possible survivors. The researchers have to think of a wide range of scenarios. It could be crucial to be able to move inside of a pipe, but also on the outside. And you know what? It's steered by a Sony PlayStation controller. Left is for vertical movement and right is for up and down. But don't get fooled. The snake's movements are very complex. It takes a lot of training to maneuver it effectively. で、最初やはり人を助けるっていうそういうロボットを作るべきだと思ったんですけど、実はそうではなかったですね。で、それレスキュー隊員の人に聞いたらば、えっと、まあ家がこう倒壊してますね。で、人がどこにいるかわからない